We hear it all the time, GDP. But what is GDP? GDP, or gross domestic product, is in short an economic measurement to determine the total monetary or market value of finished goods and services in a country's economy. Simon Kuznets formulated GDP in the 1930s. He created it at the request of the Bureau of Commerce to measure the effectiveness of governmental policy during the Depression. Today it is used as a metric to judge the value of economies across the globe. Many universities and governments use it to judge economic health. Many have criticized GDP from both the left and the right. Without political bias, there is an inherent problem with GDP. The creator of gross domestic products said, The valuable capacity of the human mind to simplify a complex situation into a compact characterization becomes dangerous when not controlled in the terms of definitely stated criteria. With quantitative measurements especially, the definiteness of the result suggests, often misleadingly, a precision and simplicity in the outlines of the object measured. Measurements of national income are subject to this type of illusion and resulting abuse, especially since they deal with matters that are the center of conflict of opposing social groups where the effectiveness of an argument is often contingent upon oversimplification. All these qualifications upon estimates of national income as an index of productivity are just as important when income measurements are interpreted from the point of view of economic welfare, but in the latter case, additional difficulties will be suggested to anyone who wants to penetrate below the surface of total figures and market values. Economic welfare cannot be adequately measured unless the personal distribution of income is known, and no income measurement undertakes to estimate the reverse side of income. That is, the intensity and unpleasantness of effort going into earning of income. The welfare of a nation can, therefore, scarcely be inferred from a measurement of national income as defined above. This aligns with the left and right's criticisms of GDP. How could one use one metric to judge an entire economy's health? One problem with GDP is it doesn't take into account unpaid work. So if you mow your own lawn instead of paying a landscaper, that's not accounted for. So why would that make the economy more healthy than the alternative? That's the question I want to end on. In short, that's what GDP is, the major problems behind it, and the history behind that measurement. I hope you guys like the video. Please subscribe, hit the bell so you're always notified. Hope you guys like the video. Please subscribe, add it to your playlist, do whatever. Hope you guys have a wonderful weekend, and remember to stay free.